Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Danky Kang 94 and today we are on the iceberg. Things could get a little slippery, but overall this is not... This is not a super hard set of levels. <laughs> Let's watch Mr. Fireball Man be a doofus and slip on the corner there. But we need Fireball Guy to stop being a doofus so we can get up here and do our thing, which is to... Okay, you're gonna walk off. I think that's it for you, right? There we go. Alright, so... Y'all come in here. Uh, no. One of my... Ah. I was trying to only allow one to have access to inside here. I guess it's okay. They're they're not going to get too badly in our way, I don't believe. So, here they go. Go in. They've made a nice little... Little space for us. Okay, yeah. Oh, we're going and we're playing the bonus room. I did that without even thinking. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't actually... Okay, we've made this a little... No! Okay, good thing I was holding on to the key there. Alright, so... Here we go. Forget that we actually have to make this so that we... Okay, yeah, so what am I doing? Yeah, pull, pull. There we go. So the bottom door stays open. Why couldn't I wrap my head around that? That was really weird. Okay. But anyway, we get to play a bonus game. We get to get, uh... We get to get some one-ups off the wheel. Not that we need them. The, the game is not going to magically go up to... 101 lives. Or 100. You know, either way, cool. It's not like the game is keeping track of excess lives. Although I wish it did. That would feel really good. That would probably make me even more helpless, honestly. Alright, so let's go in the water... Please don't be hanging out near the No, I don't like you. No, 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 no. Ah, yes, the octopus glomming onto my face. Uh, how about you get off me now? Luckily, Mario, in one of his many athletic feats, can uh, endlessly breathe underwater. So it doesn't really matter if an octopus grabs his face and sits on it for 10 seconds or so. I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to avoid... Okay, here we go. Don't bear your fangs at me, Mr. Walrus. I didn't do anything except show up in front of you. All right, we gotta jump because this will sink if we stand on it. And there's no coming up for air if we drop the key in the water. Just have to go and get it all over again. Good, that went about as smoothly as it could have. Except for, you know, the octopus, but even that's not really a threat. That thing isn't gonna kill you. It's just a minor inconvenience. I like that there are enemies that are just minor inconveniences. Not everything is out to kill you. Alright. So do the penguins work like the mummies? No, they get pretty good... They get pretty good throw. We get pretty good tossing distance off of them. I don't think we actually need any of these. We could just kind of slide in. Slide into Pauline's DMs right there. Oh yeah, and they're just hiding doors from us at this point. But like I say, I pay no attention to where the screaming actually comes from. I just know these things by heart. I just kind of know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, this is the one that crushes us. I vaguely remember this. Or I... Okay. Nothing vague about it. I remember it pretty well. I, okay. Alright, you come up. We don't want to roll. We don't want to do any rolling, but we do want to... Oh, hey, hi. No. Whew. For a second, I thought we were going to roll off into the spikes. That could have been bad. But that went pretty smoothly. That went as smoothly as the faceless, nameless thwomp. You think there's a brain in that rock's head? Or does it just think, something is coming near, I need to crush it? Oh, icicles. Stalactites, icicles, whatever you want to call them. Where would ice worlds be without them? I wouldn't recommend walking on icicles in real life, but in a video game, I'd say they're maybe the number two or number three way to get around in an ice world. Definitely recommend it if you're trying to navigate an ice world on foot. Standing on fallen icicles. Comes highly recommended. Endorsed by Round the Wheel Industries, a limited liability company. Alright, so up onto you. Think we can get up there before you disappear? Oh, hey, hi. Sometimes ropes will do that to you. You'll be swinging and swinging and swinging and you'll just slam into the pavement. 
I don't know why. I don't know why the game chooses to do that or doesn't choose to do it. I generally feel like it's pretty good about... Okay, let's try that again. Take two. There we go. Yeah, it's generally good about launching you. It, it rarely just makes you go into the dirt. Um, that's going to get a little weird, so let's not approach it. Let's wait for the other one to grow back. There we go. I like it when, like, enough nothing is going on so that you can hear the jiggle jiggle sound of the falling icicle. It's kind of rare, but it does make a sound, and it's a cute little sound. Hey, yeah, there we go. Maybe we can recoup a lost life here. Definitely we can recoup a lost life here. Because we've got wheel coming up. We've got wheel sign. Here we go. All right. Uh, even just one will do it, so I don't really care where this thing ends up. But I think it's going to end up on a two. A two up. That's a nice little slice of fried gold for you. Here we go. Let's keep on moving. Now, what are we going to do here? Okay, we're going to wait for these guys to melt some stuff. we got to pull this close, though. All right. Just make sure they don't fall on top of our heads. There we go. So we're going to make them fall onto here so that they'll do the rest of the melting for us. All right. That should be enough. All right. Bring the key up with us. Uh, I think everybody is coming to this party. I would not prefer that, but um, looks like I don't have much control over it. Okay, so let's let them melt the top layer for me. And then we'll just bring everything over to the left. Everything we own in a box to the left. Here we go. And there it is. Pretty simple. I like the purple and gold going on here. I've always had a bit of a thing for purple and gold. That's a bit of bias. That's my... That's my alma mater's colors. Uh, when I was in grade school. Uh, so I'm a bit biased toward purple and gold. I think it's a pretty solid color combination. Honestly. If we're being perfectly honest. Oh, oh, oh! Nope, nope, nope. You gotta get away from the piranha plant. Which in this case is shaped suspiciously like a fish. That's crazy. Piranhas or fish? That's not naturally occurring in nature. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, what I meant to do was kill uh, these speed squids down here. There we go. Got them both. Okay, yeah. You leave me alone. Okay, we're going to leave that there. This is one of those kind of around the world levels. So let's go ahead and put the floor down for the... You know, I've got somewhere to be... Was that another, like, walrus-type enemy? Are there two different kinds of walrus enemies in this game? That's weird. I don't know that the ecosystem can support that many kinds of walruses. Um, we can just put this right here, because I think I can... Yeah, I was going to say, that can take a regular jump. Why do they give you 300 seconds for this level? It takes less than 50 to get through. Whatever. I'm not the game designer. They could have consulted me. But, I mean, I was 10 years old at this at the time, and I thought this game was going to suck, so why would they listen to any of my ideas? Uh, because they're always great, no matter how old I am, or... Here we go. All right. Yeah. Let's get up there before he can do another crushy crushy. That went about as smoothly as it could have, I think. Conveyor belts, water, a lot going against us there. Here's another thing I spent hours upon hours trying to get Mario to do that you can't actually do. You could not make him balance on the edge of the ice flow like that. Lord, how I did try to get him to do that back in the day. Wasted untold hours. About as much time as I wasted trying to hit the ceiling with a somersault and then make Mario shudder in the fetal position. That little thing from the desert world. You can't actually do that. That's just... That's just the magic of animation. They just made Mario look like he can do that. But he can't actually do that. Untold hours. Maybe even literal days of my life wasted trying to get Mario to do that. Alright, let's see here. I like doing a little triple roll action here. Well, or double. Or double. Okay. Alright. There we go. Ah, we got to hear the jiggle jiggle. Mario's money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. 
Right? Right? That's what the kids are singing these days? I'm sure it is. I'm a teacher. I know exactly what kids are up on. Okay. Let's go down into the walrus pit. Always the most dangerous place you can be. Sorry to murder you, but you came at me first. Oh, hey, we're going to we're going to bonus time. Why am I going to bonus times? Oh, hey, hi. And yet I did not choose to murder you for some reason. Probably because the door was just right there. Alright, let's see. Let's try to get the question up. That gives you like a ton of lives, if I recall. Not that we need them. Oh, we've got a Donkey Kong. We've got a Donkey Kong. Sit still, folks. We've got a Donkey Kong. Ah, ruined it. Donkey Kong Hammer Hammer. That's a fat lot of nothing is what that is. I can't remember if the question up gives you like a random amount of lives. Or... Or if it gives you like a set amount. I seem to recall getting about 50 from it. The one time I... I pulled it off exactly once in my life. And I feel like I got like 50 lives off of it. Okay, gotta be quick here. Because if there's no surface... Underneath a ladder, Mario will not grab onto it. For all the athletic things he can do. If a ladder isn't touching the surface, Mario forgets that he has hands magically. Well... Actually, if a ladder wasn't rooted directly to the ground, I probably wouldn't try to grab it either. Okay, you win that one, Mario. That, that's probably actually fairly realistic. Which, of course, is always what we're going for in our Mario games, is uh, full realism. Let's just go ahead and reset that timer with this. Not that we actually need this one for anything. All right. Bring Mr. Fast Fireball out of out of the play place. We do not need this one at all. Okay. We should only need two pieces for this. Uh, we should only need this and the road, which should go right here. Do this up. Oh, well. Sure, that resets the timer so we can attempt. We can keep trying to do this. Come on. Ah, dang it. Oh, well. Well, I thought I was going to be a fancy Dan and try to do something with that, but that's probably not such a good idea. So I guess we'll do it the regular old stupid way. The stupid way for stupids, for boring people, which is to use the ladder. Actually, we do need the springboard for this bit. There we go. Right in front of the door. Special delivery. Amazon Prime, right to your doorstep. Pauline, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, baby. Here we go. Barrels and what? Barrels and icicles. Here we go. Okay, so... All right. Okay, or just, you know, pass right through my feet. I was trying to be a stud and a cool guy and pick up the barrel the right way by actually propping it against my feet. But the game had to get in the way of that. The game had to make me look like an idiot. A glitchy little stupid doofus moron pants. Thanks, game. Get on out of here, Donkey Kong. You have once again been bested in a battle of wills. Alright, so here we go. On our way to the Rocky Valley. Donkey Kong is upset because Mario has learned how to ride an ice flow without it sinking. That will never happen. And in fact, the game will directly contradict it <laughs> in a few levels, if I recall one of the cutscenes correctly. So there we are. Tower in the distance. We are in the home stretch. There it is. Next time, strap in and strap on for 16 levels of Rocky Point Holiday. Oh, it's beautiful. Tower up in the corner. Nicely laid out, appointed map. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I love everything about Rocky Valley. Except for the hyphen in it. Why does Rocky Valley need a hyphen? Now I'm angry and my day is ruined.